Well, hello, everybody, and uh, ho, ho, ho from uh, your co-chair, John Mathias. Um, very nice to uh, kind of virtually see everybody. Um, uh, we're just going to be doing a very quick roundup of, uh, of what we've been up to in 2022 and with a few things to look forward to next year as well. Um, it's been a funny year for me. Um, it ended up with me having some uh, some surgery and I'm just about uh, getting over that now. But what it has meant is that I haven't been able to attend um, some, some of the face-to-face -face events that we've had going on in the last uh, couple of months. Uh, very sorry not to see everybody at the event in London, but I was, I was with you virtually um, and uh, very much hoping that I'll be seeing everybody face-to-face -face next year. Um, the other big event for, for, for me normally is the international meeting, um, which this year was in Israel uh, in a lovely place just by the sea. And I couldn't go to that either. Uh, but uh, luckily, um, Maz and uh, Debbie uh, represented MPN Voice at that meeting, and apparently it was very successful. Um, and uh, everybody was very impressed with the work that we've been doing. Um, the On the advocacy side, um, the, the major project this year has been preparing a submission to NICE. Um, trying finally to convince NICE that um, uh, prescribing ruxolitinib for PV patients is good value for money. Uh, we've been very well assisted in that effort with um, some work we've done with uh, a few PV patients um, who've had good experiences with the drug. Um, and there's new data, um, most importantly, from uh, clinical trials that we think will be much more persuasive this time round with NICE. This is a drug which is already uh, prescribable in Scotland. Um, and we think that uh, with this new submission that uh, patients in England and Wales will be able to, uh, to have the drug as well. The, the meeting for that is in May, I think. There's been a few changes um, with that, uh, but Andy Tattersall and I will be uh, representing um, MPN patients alongside another uh, actual PV patient uh, at that meeting. And we're, we're optimistic and uh, we hope everything goes well. We also think that um, there will be a new type of interferon called Bezremi uh, appraised this year. Uh, we're not exactly sure what the timing is going to be and in which countries yet, but we will be working on that submission too. The great news, of course, with all of this is that there's more and more drugs coming down the the pipeline uh, and as and when they're ready to be to be appraised then we will do our level best to uh, make the case for them to be made available to patients in the NHS. Um, so um, I think oh there's one other, one other thing I think Tim's going to talk a bit more about this uh, with his slot but uh, we've just started work on planning or designing I suppose uh, a new app that we're going to be um, uh, hopefully releasing at some point in 2023. Um, and I, personally, I'd like to say a big thanks to everybody who contributed to our sort of priority setting survey uh, for NPM patients. And that's been a really big help when we've been designing or thinking about what to, what to put into our app. Um, so there's going to be plenty more to come on that, and, um, and you'll be hearing a lot more about that. So uh, for the time being, it's ho, ho, ho from me and very much looking forward to seeing, uh, seeing you all in, uh, in the new year. Bye for now. Hi, everyone. Uh, it's me and my friend. <laughs> On the subject of research, um, we've been finishing off our COVID research, a lot of which has been supported by MPN Voice and lots of you have taken part in some surveys for that and given samples and we've learned lots and hopefully we've been supporting those of you who've been unfortunate enough to have COVID um, with information. This year has seen a resurgence and proper reopening of research as well as um, research meetings and I've just come back from the massive American Society of Hematology meeting in uh, New Orleans. Lots of exciting stuff going on with research and MPN Voice has been contributing to that with the Mithridate study, which is a frontline study 
in PV, as well as the Mosaic study, of epidemiology. So get on the website and find out about that study, as well as the mascot study, which is concerning patients with unusual clots. John mentioned a study which is going to help us to get reimbursement for um, roxalitinib for PV. That's the magic PV study. So huge shout out to all those of you who've been on that study. There were over 300 patients just from the UK. And that study has shown us some really exciting stuff, which we will be sharing with you in a webinar shortly. Hugely exciting year as well, because we now potentially have antibodies and vaccines, not just for COVID. COVID really has got to be over soon, <laughs> um, but also coming up for MPN, which is going to be really exciting. And then lastly, I just want to mention young people. Partly, one, because we managed to complete a big project looking at outcomes for young people across Europe. Secondly, that we plan to do some guidelines across Europe for young people. And that has a lot of it has been inspired by patients. And particularly, I want to give a massive shout out to Alice Watson and her family, but also to Mark and Debbie and everybody who contributed to the recipe book. And if you haven't got yours, do look out for it. Um, it's full of really healthy ideas, but also full of inspiration for everyone. Wish you all a happy Christmas and look forward to seeing you soon in 2023. So under this uh, amazing Father Christmas disguise is Tim Ellis, your finance officer. Um, it really only seems a week or two that we were recording our last Christmas message. <laughs> yeah. um, however, the truth is much has happened since, uh, which has helped to boost our finances allowing us to support all the initiatives that we know many of you find so beneficial. Um, as John mentioned earlier, um, one of your top priorities that's been identified is the need for an MPN app, which um, will help people to record how they're feeling, the medications they're taking, um, and hopefully ultimately help the medical profession um, to better understand um, the diseases that you have to suffer. Um, as John said, we've, we're just starting on the design stage, but we do hope to ramp up fairly quickly and have something uh, the first half of um, next year. Uh, as John said, more to follow on that one. Um, as always, my Christmas wish wishes goes out to everyone, but again, in particular, I'd like to thank all of those who have helped the MPM voice management team raise the much needed funds for our charity. Uh, this year has again been truly outstanding. Um, we've had some new fresh life to the team and it's um, certainly generated some activity. So a big thank you and Christmas wishes therefore goes to our fundraising team, to all of, the, all of you who have kindly donated to our calls and to our, of course, our generous corporate donors. So, all I've got to say now is stay warm, safe, and have a Merry Christmas. Hello, everyone, and it's a ho, ho, ho from me, Nona, your co-chair. The year being face-to-face -face with so many of you again. Uh, we've done a number of online forums, which are hugely successful and watched globally. But we've also been to uh, Newcastle, to Chester, to Cardiff, and, and these things are, and to Ireland, not forgetting Ireland, these things are hugely important. And to me, it's being part of the community. The reception that Maz and I have had has been completely overwhelming. And we are so thrilled that we're able to do this and continue to do this and meet so many of you. For, for the number of you that are newly diagnosed, uh, we were surprised at how many are coming to the forums. And that is wonderful for us. And I do say, keep checking on the website for all the up-to-date information. And I just say, like everyone else, have a really happy time this festive period and a great new year. And we all look forward to seeing you next year. And I'd like to give a final shout out to all those helpers we have, the unsung heroes, some of whom we know, you know about, some of whom you don't. And as the executive team, we couldn't do without you. And we are grateful to every single one of you. Thank you. Stay well and keep safe.
Take care, everyone. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas.